Welcome to the OncoTarget YouTube channel. This interview is with Dr. Whitney Henry in the Department of Pathology at Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center and Harvard Medical School in Boston, Massachusetts. They are talking about their manuscript published in Volume 7, Issue 50 of OncoTarget, titled Link 00520 is induced by CERC, STAT3, and PI3K and plays a functional role in breast cancer. Hi everyone, my name is Whitney Henry and I am a recent graduate from the lab of Alex Stoker. Um, our lab is part of Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center and an affiliate of Harvard Medical School. Our paper in this in Oncotarget really focuses on a novel link RNA that has been polyfunctionally characterized in the context of cancer or just in general. So a lot of studies have implicated a role for long non-coding RNAs in several cell biological processes like development and also in disease conditions such as cancer. However, less than 1% of the annotated human link RNAs have been functionally characterized. So in this study, we set forth to try to understand and to identify what are some of those link RNAs that might be important in the context of cancer? So we started off by using two independent systems of cellular transformation. So we took um, non-tumorigenic mammary epithelial cells and we introduced into them two different oncogenes. One uh, is the oncogene SAC and the other is mutant PI3 kinase. And by performing gene expression profiling, we identified a novel link RNA called LINK00520 in both systems. So in this paper, we go on to show that this link RNA is regulated by the transcription factor STAT3, and it seems to be preferentially enriched in a subtype of breast cancer known as basal-like breast cancers, which are typically highly aggressive cancers. We also begin to do perform some functional characterization of this link RNA by performing. Uh, we also show in this paper that this link RNA might have a potential role in mediating cell migration and invasion and potentially gene expression. And to our knowledge, this is the first study that begins to investigate the regulation and biological function of this link RNA and could be um, very important for future studies. Now, one of the challenges of working with link RNAs is that they are very low abundant. And because many of them are not very well annotated, there's a lack of molecular tools or prior literature that one can fall back on in designing um, some of their future experiments. Right now, um, we would like to continue our studies on link RNAs and the future studies would consist of performing further functional characterization of this link RNA as well as others that we have identified using both cell-based models as well as in vivo mouse models. Another important question that we would like to address is how exactly does this link RNA mediate its function? So what is the molecular mechanism by which this link RNA works? And to begin to address these types of questions, we can perform experiments such as looking at its potential protein, DNA, or RNA interacting partners, identifying whether there are any changes in subcellular localization. And by performing this very fundamental experiments, we might begin to identify what are some of the mechanisms by which this link RNA might work. So it's still early days for this link RNA, but it'll be interesting to see what the follow-up and future experiments might hold. OncoTarget was launched in 2010 as a traditional peer-reviewed journal with free access that focused primarily on cancer research. Currently, OncoTarget is a multidisciplinary journal which publishes in weekly issues and is covering topics beyond oncology in fields such as neuroscience, immunology, pathology, and more. You can click on the link in the description below to order a reprint or read the manuscript that was discussed in this interview on OncoTarget.com. Please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel and connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn. Thank you.